Hi, today in this video I will explain you how your application can connect from any computer on the network to your SQL Server database on a remote server, even in the same network or over the internet. In my example here, I am connecting from a computer to a remote SQL Server database on the same network. So this is my SQL Server database, uh, it's hosted on a uh, server. This is my server, and uh, I, will, I will show you how to connect from a remote application on the same network. First of all, first we need to do a few things. We go to start, and we search for Microsoft SQL Server, and we click SQL Server 2019 Configuration Manager. Here, we go to SQL Server Network Configuration, to Protocols for SQL Express. Here, it is disabled. At the beginning, it's disabled. You, you make it enabled, like that, like I did here, enabled, TCP IP enabled. Then, you double-click it. And you press IP addresses, and you scroll down to the end. The TCP dynamic ports here, whatever the port it is here, you delete it. And in the TCP port, you write this port, 49170, and you press OK. Second, we go to Firewall. In the Firewall, you press Inbound Rules, and you press New Rule. And you go to port and you press next and here you put the same port that we wrote it there for 9170 and you press next 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 and you name it for 9170 sql and you press finish and after that, you will see it here in the inbound woods. So we finished from the firewall. And we finished from SQL Server configuration. Before we close it, we need to restart the service. We go to SQL Server, Server Services. And right-click on the SQL Express. And you do restart. And now we are ready to open our SQL Server database. Here, in the server name, whatever the server name uh, existing here, you remove it and you put your IP, the IP of your server or computer, comma, and the port 49170. Okay, this IP it's easy to get it. You just you just go to CMD command prompt and you click IP config. And I get it from the wireless LAN adapter here, IP4 address 192.168.88238. And I put it here, comma 49170. And in the authentication, if it is Windows authentication, you change it to SQL Server authentication, and you put your login and your password, and you connect normally. Now we are connected. Now we are connected. Now let's go to the client computer. Okay. Now I have this VMware. I will consider it as a uh, my client computer, a client computer on the network uh, trying to access the SQL Server database remotely. I have an application, a small executable here. Already, I program it. Uh, this is the uh, this is the application. This is the connection string. The server. The server name, the IP comma 49170, the port, and the
and the network library, you write it like that, and your database and the user ID and the password. And uh, I made a simple uh, executable and I place it here. I send it to the VMware and I run. So I will try to access the SQL Server database remotely. Let's take one user to access it, to, to log into the software. And the users here, I have SASA. So let's try. This is on the complete computer, on the client computer machine, SASA. And this is it. I logged on. I logged in from a computer machine on the network to my remote SQL server database. And this is it. Thank you for watching.